horseshoe bats, or the genus Rhinolophus, emit sound from their nostrils and then listen to the frequency of the sound reflected from their prey to determine the prey's speed. The quote-unquote horseshoe bat, or horseshoe that gives the bat its name, is a depression around the nostrils that acts like a focusing mirror. So that the bat emits sound in a narrow beam like a flashlight, Rhinophilus flying at a speed emits a sound of frequency. The sound it hears reflected from an insect flying toward it, toward it has a higher frequency. Our goal is to write an expression for the speed of the insect. As shown on the figure on the right is a bat approaching an insect. As it approaches, it emits a sound. And that sound is reflected back towards the bat. So, for case one, the bat emits a sound as shown on the figure. So here, here we have uh, the bat emitting sound. And then the insect hears that sound as it approaches. So we denote the frequency, the frequency of the sound that the bat produces as F bat with a speed of V bat. And for the insect, it has a frequency F sub L. And the speed of insect has a V insect. The bat and the insect are approaching each other, so we have to use an expression that uh, allows us to differentiate this kind of behavior. So we use equation one, wherein the denominator is large because it has a positive sign and the, the denominator denominator uh, is small so the effect will become uh, the frequency heard by the insect will become larger so we substitute the given values wherein the v of the listener is for the vr the speed of the insect and the v source it would be the v bat okay in equation two now this is the frequency heard by the insect and for case two, the sound is reflected off the insect and goes back to the bat. So the roles are now reversed. The insect will act like a source and the bat will become the listener. Okay, so Fs prime, which is the frequency uh, produced by the insect, is basically the frequency heard by the insect at the beginning or in case one then f prime l which is the frequency heard by the bat that is coming from the sound that is reflected by the insect is now f reflected we use the same equation equation one because the scenario is still the same because both are approaching each other so the denominator is a minus the numerator is a plus okay but this time the v listener is the bat and the V source is the insect. Substituting equation 2 to 4 and you get this equation 5 expression. Now, uh, we then simplify the expression as shown here in equation 6. We group the similar terms, the frequencies on, left, on the left side. We also group the group the uh, expression for the VBAT by cross multiplying it and we arrive to this expression here in the left term. On the right term you only have the uh, velocity of the insect and the V of uh, uh, and the V insect. Okay, So we let this term on the left as X and we write an expression shown in equation 8. To solve for the V insect we uh, distribute x on these terms and then we group similar terms uh, the v here which is the speed that is given and the v insect and upon the writing we arrive to equation 9 now we then substitute back equation 8 to 9 and we get equation 10 we further simplify this and we get an expression shown here so the denominator of the first term upon manipulating equation 10 and the numerator of the second term cancels out. 
and we are left with the expression for the V insect. So this is the speed of the insect as it approaches the bat. The V here, of course, the V that is unscripted is the speed of sound in air. And that's it. Thank you.